Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about Yasuo. If you guys watched the Yasuo in short video, you'll need to skip a portion of this video until the build, because basically I'll be saying the same things, so buckle up and enjoy. Yasuo is an edgy samurai who has aspirations of 1v9ing every game, and in the right hands he surely can. He has a high mobility, great damage and solid survivability and CC. That's the main reason why he's picked up by majority of people as a choice for mid and top lane, where he's mainly played. With the ban rate of 48.9% mainly lower elo we can see that he's not among the favorites of the community. Actually, he's despised in the league community mainly because of his aspirations that we mentioned. In my opinion, that's what makes Yasuo so good, I mean, he's an outcast, not only in his lore but also in the game, hated by many, also played by a bunch of people that don't really take time to master him. Yasuo excels in outplaying your opponent and split pushing, mainly in season 8 he's being played as a split pusher due to his dueling potential and outplay potential. While all this stuff is good, I cannot mention that he is also mechanically difficult meaning you'll have a hard time truly learning how to play him properly. Also, the key to Yasuo is knowing when and when not to be aggressive in lane, since he's very dangerous if fat and of course one of the most hated champions in the game, so that tells us the junglers tend to camp Yasuo more and shut him down before he has a chance to 1v9. Anyways, to explain his abilities real quick, we'll start off with his passive, the way of the wanderer, Actually, his passive has two ways. The first part of his passive grants him double crit chance from all sources but his basic attacks. The second part is his passive shield. The shield gives Yasuo a pseudo tankiness which allows him to trade effectively when it's available, while doubling the crit chance. That means he only needs an upgraded zeal item and infinity edge to reach 100% crit chance. After that we have his Q the Steel Tempest, which can be played around a bit. There's also two parts to it, meaning the first part, Yasuo attacks with his sword, dealing damage to all enemies in that direction, and the second part, where on the third cast, he actually attacks with his tornado, which knocks up the enemies, obviously. Keep in mind that Steel Tempest also crits and makes farming a lot easier. Then we have his W, the Wind Wall, this ability is one of the most annoying abilities in the game, it basically blocks all enemy projectiles but the tower shots. And after that we have the sweeping blade, this is the ability that makes him a flashy champion that he is. It's a dash that you can perform on enemy minions, jungle camps and the enemy champions. The downside of it is that you cannot dash to the same target more than once every few seconds. This ability is a good gap closer and also decent escape tool so you need to use it very wisely. And finally, his ulti The Last Breath, where Yasuo blinks to an airborne target closest to the mouse pointer, as long as there is the vision of the target. Make sure to keep in mind that when you ulti someone, your passive shield regenerates and your still tempest stacks go back to 1. Also, as many of Yasuo's abilities, this ability has a second part to it. The second part is that, for the next 15 seconds, after using the ulti, Yasuo's critical strikes gain 50% bonus armor penetration, which makes him very good against tanky champions, so sometimes it's not a bad decision to ulti a tank champion. So now that we covered his abilities, we can see one of the reasons why he's so despised in the league community. I mean, his kit has so much to offer and if it's used properly, it's definitely one of the best kits in the game. Anyways, to get into the build, it's pretty obvious what are we gonna go for when we are talking about Yasuo. Now that we covered his kit, we have learned that his abilities are based on crit chance. The more crit chance, the more damage Yasuo does and his passive grants him a double crit chance from all sources. So we'll start off with rushing a zeal item. That will give us a huge power spike in the laning phase, so I'd suggest first going with a Phantom Dancer. Static Shift could eventually be picked up if you really want to go for that wave clear, but the best choice would definitely be a Phantom Dancer. It will make it a lot easier for you to outplay your opponents and snowball. Next we'll go for Infinity Edge since we want that damage, and also Infinity Edge works so well with Yasuo's kit since it gives bonus damage on crits. Afterwards, it's more situational, but I'd suggest picking up these items. 
We're picking up Bloodthirster for extra shield and survival. Guardian's Angel for tankiness and oh shit I screwed up card. And this might surprise you but yes we're back to season 6 yeah so we're going to build a frozen mallet. It will allow you to absolutely destroy immobile AD carries and mages in team fights. And since the mage update just came out, this is going to be pretty damn useful. That was it for the build. Of course, it's just my preference, but I think it's definitely the best build out there, especially for the current patch. Now, after this, we're going to go right into the runes. It changed up a bit before people were building Presta Attack and Fleet Footwork. Now, since of the release of the Conqueror, we'll be picking up this. The second tree of the runes can either be resolve or domination depending on what you want. Now that we basically explained who Yasuo is and what Yasuo does, it's time to talk about how you should play Yasuo in the game overall. Well, let's be honest here, you look cool no matter what you do with Yasuo, but the thing is, you gotta do it right. So the laning phase is where it starts, you want to adjust your playstyle depending on the matchup. There is no real way for me to tell you how and what to do against specific champion, for that you have to gain an experience of your own and you literally just have to play Yasuo. But what makes Yasuo so good is that his kit offers so much creativity in how you play, you can basically poke from distance with your tornadoes and safely farm or you could go ham and dash into the enemy opponent. The key in lane is to use smart aggression and be mindful of your dashes because if you misplay with your dashes it could cost you a bunch of health or even your life. Moving on to the mid game you want to look for roams, taking down objectives, killing enemy jungle camps, anything that takes advantage of your lane opponent would be great. Here you're already starting to get very strong and finally moving on to the late game this is definitely where Yasuo shines even if you fed whole game this is definitely where you come back this is your redeem card here you have two options either roam and take down towers you'll be able to do anyone who stands in your way or look for team fights you have a very strong engage and if someone in your team has a knock up and engages with it you could ulti off of it if it's a smart move and that way you'll win the game also when wall plays a huge part in team fights especially late game it can also negate so much damage and save your team a bunch and even win you the game so be mindful of how you're using wind wall because it's very important late now that we covered everything pretty much i just want to go over the whole video and describe it in short in case some of you did not understand certain parts on how to play yasuo um basically these will be mini tips or something like that about yasuo so the safest way of playing Yasuo is abusing enemy laners mistakes and safely scaling up because you're a late game champion not an early game champion. In the right hands he can be an incredible lane bully that 1v9s after the laning phase. And in the wrong hands well many people have witnessed that I suppose. As a Yasuo you should be careful of ganks because most people tend to camp Yasuo not only because they hate the champion but because it's very easy to bait Yasuo into ganks. Use of your wind wall is crucial, especially late game where you can end up saving your team or losing the game with it. Instead of always trying to hit tornadoes, play around with your EQ combo and make it easier for yourself to land a knockup. Your E dash is a fixed distance so make sure to dash while you're close to a minion so you could go further if that makes any sense. Alright, anyways that's basically it. At the end of the day the only way to get good at Yasuo is to play Yasuo. I managed not to upload again for a week and I got sick and it was damn horrible. But now we back once again, I'm going to be working a lot harder now. Some of my videos will go to LOL King's website, you guys should definitely check them out, they're great. Anyways, as I said, that will be it for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this guide and if you did, please support me by subscribing, that would be honestly great. So yeah, have a nice day and peace out.